good morning or afternoon or evening or whenever you're watching I just ran the batteries that were in this these are new uh, freshly charged set of batteries uh, but when I had the other ones that were ran down they were I mean, they were pretty dead but it still ran the motor I took it down to my brother's house and he has a oscilloscope and some fancy gadgets to uh, check how far the magnetic field's going. So I made a little video of that. I'll clip it onto the end of this. But the question that I ended up asking myself, when the batteries were so low that you can actually see uh, when I hooked the capacitor up that it was actually putting a load on the batteries, but the motor still sped up. Now, you would think that if you add another load to the batteries that it would slow the motor down. But it didn't. Now, you don't really see the effect of, you know, with his fancy equipment, you could see that, that it was actually putting a little bit of a load on, on the batteries by hooking the capacitor up. But like, but like I said, it, it never slowed the motor down. It actually sped it up. Gave it more power, so I don't know. I'm so you know, I'm going to pursue this until we figure it out. I know that John Bedini and uh, Joseph Newman understood, uh, Joseph Newman, especially because this is a Newman motor. John Bedini has some good theories, and he figured out a way to use the energy that's charging the capacitor here, uh, use that energy to charge a second battery with a Bedini circuit and that's all good that's what I use. I use I have a Bedini I have one here and I have uh, one over there running right now uh, charging I got uh, four banks of these batteries and there's eight D cell batteries and I just keep recharging them uh, it works really good for charging old batteries then I use those batteries to run the Newman motor so it's Still in my mind, I mean, I got a good charger. <clears throat> my brother started uh, thinking of ways that we can use this energy to charge a second battery, and I told him, Ooh, I already have one of those. It's called the Bedenius. I said, But what I'm really interested in is figuring out what's going on here. Because this energy that coming off of this it has to be the energy coming off the coils charging the capacitor. Because I can't think of anything where you can put an extra load on a set of batteries, capacitor, put an extra load on the batteries, without, you know, taking the load down on whatever else you have it on. If it's a light bulb, the light bulb's going to get dimmer. If it's a motor, the motor's going to go slower. Unless it's a Joseph Newman motor. So, that being said, uh, I'll play that clip. And God bless. You guys have an awesome day. Any comments? I appreciate any comments I can get. I'm trying to figure this out. You guys have an awesome day. God bless. Bye-bye. Okay, I'm over at my brother's house. We're getting ready to test to see how big the magnetic wave is off of the Newman motor. Let me fire it up. Go ahead. Let's see if I got the sound turned on or not. Okay. Yep. Okay, so you can read it to about out in here. About there? Yeah, in okay. the green area. It's not going to change or anything. Why don't okay. we go ahead and move it up to the danger where it starts change at least changes the light color. Okay, okay. We'll have to go yeah, alright. Yeah. Okay, right about there. Okay, now let me hook the capacitor to it. Here, let me. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, the field's definitely going up. How far away can you walk now? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, the bat that, right batteries there, are just about that, dead. That uh, meter stick right there by that speaker, between oh, the cap and the speaker. Between the cap meter stick. Yeah, I don't see it. Too dark. Oh, a meter stick. Mm -hmm. I'm back. I'm looking for some kind of electrical device. Just give me, give us, <laughs> go ahead and disconnect that again. Let's see what you. Then we okay. get we get some distance right. here. Meter okay, it's here. disconnected. Mm 
And that's a good the point of dropping off is right around around 16 inches. About 16 inches? Yep. So that'd be yeah, roughly three foot around. Yeah. Okay, so now I'll Well three foot is right out here. Yeah, I mean around. Yeah. Because okay, it's going all the way around, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. it's circular. Okay. Yeah. All right, so. Right. Okay, I'm going to hook it up. Ready? Mm -hmm. These batteries are pretty dead. That took you to around 20 inches. Around 20 inches? Yeah. Okay, I should have brought the other battery pack. <laughs> of course, the I would have blew up my last two uh, reed switches. Yeah, I see okay, it. well, that see was all I wanted to see. Uh, thank you for watching. God bless. You guys have a great day.